So come to find out that we are consuming foods wrong. We eating foods wrong, people. And these people are going to tell us how and what we are doing wrong. So the name of... Oh, my shirt is v by the way. I'm still thinking I'm wearing this. Anyways, Anyways it's things that you are consuming wrong. Let's get straight into it. Let's do it. Let's live it. Let's div it. Let's pivot. Consumer goods because there's... So that is how Travis Scott rap. Mikey. Icy. Lighty. No, look. Mikey. Lightly. Iced tea. Mm. Mix it. Stir it. Pour it. Mm. Straight up. Get it. Mix it. Give it. Tua. Drugs. In Tua. In Shua. In Blue. Simply using them wrong. Just because everyone else always eats a food or uses a consumer good a certain way. Doesn't. Bro, well, I don't care what you're talking about. Let's get into it. Dancing. Number 10. Yogurt. Who really eats yogurt anymore? Are you sitting at home eating some yogurt? Be honest. No, you're not. No one is here eating yogurt. If you like to eat yogurt, you may occasionally find a liquid that collects on the top and think it's gross, pouring it down the drain. That is but what not I so fast. All you're really doing is pouring essential nutrients down the drain. It's much healthier to consume the liquid because it contains calcium, protein, and B12. B12? Oh my god. The nutrients found in yogurt. You don't have to drink the liquid. Just stir it back into your yogurt before eating. Or just shake the yogurt beforehand so you don't have to see it separated at the top. That liquid is known as whey. And Little Miss Muffet eats it, so you should too. Number 9. Chicken wings. I was not amazed by that. But I w kind of. Chicken wings, let's see. Wings. It's easy to think there's no wrong way to eat them since they're finger food, right? While it may be socially acceptable to eat chicken wings... That wings don't look kind of good. Bones, I ain't gonna cap. can be a hassle. So don't just wing it. That's just foul play, because there is an easy way to solve this problem. Here's how you can debone the wing with ease. Hold your chicken wing like a game controller, and twist the ends back and forth until you feel the cartilage break. Then, pull the second bone out the end. This leaves one bone in the wing. You then put the chicken wing in your mouth and pull it off the other bone, leaving you with only chicken to chew. No. This is the best. No. And where is your lip set? Way. Why this girl ain't got no lips? Because you. Bro, this girl ain't got no lips, chin, little as hell. What's wrong with you? Get your ends clipped. What's wrong? And no, this is not how you eat chicken. Everybody knows that you eat chicken if you twist the thing and turn. Even if you take the bone out, it's still those little two little gummy things that feel like elbows in there. Yo, no lip, have an ass. You get to eat all the meat at once without the risk of encountering a bone when you chew. Girl ain't got no Number goddamn eight. lip. Hard boiled eggs. Man, who the hell eating no, hard boiled the eggs? The hardest part of cooking hard boiled eggs is peeling the shell off. If you're struggling with this or avoiding making hard boiled eggs altogether so you don't have to deal with it, chances are you're doing it wrong. The best solution is to add a teaspoon of baking soda to the water before you begin, which raises the pH of the water. Boil the eggs for about 12 minutes with two inches of water above the eggs. When you're done cooking and have cooked the eggs, crack both ends on the counter and peel off some of the shell so you have a hole at the top and bottom of the egg. Now comes the fun part. All you have to do is blow on one end of the egg and the shell should come right off. They may be hard boiled, but they don't have to be hard peeled. Number seven, oranges. I'm not Oranges impressed. are a good source of vitamin I'm not impressed C at all. and folate. I'm not, oh my god, wow. The There's an easy way and you'll be annoyed you didn't know sooner. Let's see. All you have Let's see if this is how I do it. So basically how I do an orange. This nigga cutting it. But anyway, basically how I do an orange is you get it soft and then you peel it one time and all of it come off. No kids. To do is cut off the top and bottom of the orange. Then make a slice in the peel and simply unroll your orange. It's now neatly sectioned and easy to eat. Sort of like a fruity Toblerone. Aren't you glad we told you this simple orange hack? Number six. Toothpaste. Nigga, I didn't even see what he said. It's not a food, but toothpaste is also expended by use, so it's cost effective to consume it properly. The first mistake people make when using toothpaste relates to the amount of it they use. Many people run a long strip of toothpaste across the surface of bristles on their toothbrush, but this is actually too much toothpaste. A pea-sized amount is plenty. Another common mistake people make with toothpaste 
is rinse. Bro, why these niggas ain't got no lips, bro? Is this shit normal? On some real shit. In their mouth immediately after brushing. This isn't actually what you're supposed Nigga, to do. Nigga, look at his Not lips. Rinsing allows the fluoride to stay in the mouth and be better absorbed by the teeth, protecting them from cavities. Toothpaste also has a few use hacks that can help you with cleaning something other than your pearly whites. You can use it to clean your car's headlights or to get persistent strong smells like garlic or onions off your hands. Number five, ink and toner. If you print things even occasionally, you probably groan every time you get one of those replace ink messages on your computer screen. However, replacing the cartridge right away isn't the most cost-effective solution. I'm probably the cardboard give a fuck about no cold, printer? While others prefer to reheat it. But if you're using a microwave or even a traditional oven, you may not be getting the best, tastiest flavor and texture from you. Why they put this bald head ass nigga on here, bro? Why they putting the ugliest niggas? Yesterday's pizza. So, what's the best way to reheat it? Fold your pizza slices up and put them in a waffle iron. This keeps the <sighs> crust crispy and even number th or so the saying goes. I don't know about that, but a whole apple a day will leave more room in your trash or recycling bin. That's why you gotta eat it all. That's right, you can eat the whole apple, including the core. The whole idea of the core being inedible is just a myth. Sure, apple seeds do release cyanide when digested, but unless you finally chew and eat about 200 apple seeds or about 20 apple cores, you won't receive a fatal dose. Oh, and you shouldn't peel apples either, as the skin contains vitamins. The best way to consume your apple is to rinse it thoroughly. Start from the bottom and eat the whole thing, skin, stem, and all. Number two, liquid soap. If you have to keep buying liquid soap frequently, you may feel like you're washing a lot of money down the drain. Fortunately, there's an easy way to save money and still get your hands clean. Wrap a rubber band around the neck of the pump. This lets it go down part way, but not all the way, so you get a smaller amount of soap with each pump. Don't worry, your hands will get just as clean and you won't have to buy soap as often. You can stretch your soap even further by adding water when the pump bottle starts to run low. You'll be able to stretch the bubbles a lot farther before you have to buy another refill. Number one, pistachios. This shit is pissing me Pistachios off. are healthy nuts and they have pretty fun commercials too. But sometimes getting them open is no fun, especially when you're left with the neglected ones that you can't get the shell off. Nigga, you don't Thankfully, have no there's nail. an easy solution for this that might save you from going nuts. Just take another pistachio shell and insert it into the crack. You should be able to fit it into most small slits with a bit of pressure, and this will allow you to easily push apart the two sides of the shell. This works because the shells are very strong. This will prevent those yummy pistachio nuts from hibernating indefinitely. Have you been consuming these wrong the whole- Nigga, this nigga didn't say nothing we didn't know except a goddamn apple. Boy, niggas ain't dead shot poor anymore. Nigga, this ain't 1998. I ain't finna eat no whole apple. And on top of that, who even eat out? Who eat who eat red apples? And why did the apple? Eat? <sighs> niggas said, "Who the fuck do you think niggas? Who do you think niggas is? Put the pizza in a waffle iron." You put the pizza. This is the worst video I've ever seen in my life.